Hello, my name is Dr. Vicki Peterson. Welcome to Dr. Vicki's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make overnight oats. This is a fun breakfast or snack and what you do is you make it the night before and then it's all ready for you. Just grab your mason jar and run out of the house. So we're going to start with three quarters of a cup of any kind of non-dairy milk. I have coconut today. We frequently use almond at home, but uh, as you can see it's nice and thick so this is a very filling meal. So we're going to start with that, whatever kind of um, non-dairy milk that you like. And then this is half a cup of oats. If I can get it in here without making too big a mess. All right, just a little mess, not too bad. And make sure, okay, big mess. Make sure that you use gluten-free oats if you are gluten-free. They really need to say that they are gluten-free on, on the label. I use Bob's Red Mill, but there's a number of them out there. So then what we're going to use for some staying power is a almond butter. You can definitely use peanut butter. And that's kind of what's fun about this is you can make it taste different pretty much every day depending on what you put in it. Now I'm going to put in a teaspoon each of ground flax and chia. What these do, if you've ever made a flax egg or a chia egg, they have a nice thickness. So this is going to make a nice thick pudding once you get it going overnight. And then the last thing we're going to add is a sweetener. And I wanted to show you two options that you can have. So this is date syrup. The great thing about either the liquid date syrup or the powdered date sugar is it's really a whole foods, which is what we really work with on our patients to have a whole food plant-based diet because all it is is ground up dates. So there's no, there's no additives, there's no refined sugar. The other thing is, um, this is another new favorite of mine, is the sweet leaf stevia. And this is just the original flavor, but you can get vanilla. They have probably about 16 different flavors. And the equivalent of a tablespoon, as you see, when you do a dropper full, it doesn't get all the way full. So about two droppers is the equivalent of a tablespoon, maybe a little bit less, but that will be plenty. And last but not least, we're going to put some cacao nibs in here and that will give it a nice chocolatey flavor but the cacao nibs are a superfood and they're loaded with magnesium so that's really healthy for you nice crunch this is super fun now when you get it out of the fridge in the morning what you're going to do is you can add some fresh fruit sliced bananas whatever you want throw it in there as you can see there's still some room in the mason jar and um, you're off to work and you won't be hungry. And this is very satisfying. It will keep you full for hours. So what I'm going to do tomorrow morning is I'll show you a picture of this and how it comes out so you know. But definitely give this a try. I think if you don't do well with oats, you could also try quinoa flakes. So I'll show all of these alternatives in the recipe on our website. But uh, try it out. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I wish you very good health.